Hey, what's up? It's Ben here. Hope you're doing well. Did you know that whether the stock market is doing well or not, you can still make money. You don't always have to buy stock and hold it for years to see your money grow to 20 or 30% in returns. And depending on the rate of return, that might be good for some people. It's almost like a set it and forget it system that doesn't require a lot of work if you firmly believe that the stock will grow in value later on though. And with that in mind, investing long term as such, I decided to implement a different strategy to help me lock in some profits monthly. I only spend a couple minutes a week and I just let it do its thing. And by the way, this strategy pays out immediately. If I wanted to, I can use the money to pay my bills or just simply reinvest it back into the stock market. And how I'm doing this to make over $500 per month is by trading options or selling cash secure puts. What it basically is is that you will earn a premium immediately or aka getting the cash up front for selling a put. Now you don't have to own 100 shares of a stock to get started. You just need the money in your account as collateral. And what that means is that you're saying you are going to buy the underlying security if it hits a certain price you set it at. For example, if I sell one put options with a strike price at $20, it's like saying I will be buying 100 shares of that stock at $20 if the stock price falls below $20 per share. The risk is that if the stock price goes to $19 per share, then I won't be able to buy it at $19 per share. Instead, I'll be assigned to buy 100 shares of it because it's equal to one option and it'll be for $20 per share. This strategy or method is a little bit more advanced, but once you get the hang of it and know the basic of options trading, you might realize it to be a safer choice to make some passive income. But I think it's safer than just buying or selling an option. It creates a win-win situation no matter what if you are bullish in a stock because if the stock price goes down, what that means is that you can buy more of it at a discount while still collecting uh, the money up front. And if it goes up in value, well, you still get paid. So yeah, you can't really get mad at yourself unless you really don't like the stock. But then again, if you don't like it, why are you investing in it, right? And if you want to know how I sell a cash secure put on Webull, I made a video on that so you can learn. In this video, you would just see me breaking down my trades and what I'm doing to make that passive income. It's not much, but it's still something. And if you don't have a brokerage account to trade, maybe consider signing up with Webull. If you sign up and fund your account with $100, you can get two free stocks that can be a value up to $1,850. It's free money right there. So let me jump into my Webull account and show you how I'm doing this. But first things first, if you just signed up, go ahead and collect your two free stocks. Click on menu on the bottom right and then click on my free stock. And I'll take you to a screen where you could collect your two free stocks. So just get and then first one I have AM for $9.11. And then the next one is going to be AM again. So total of $18 or so. So I'm going to close this and then back this out. So now you could do this for any stock that has option trading. But I like trading with Palantir because I'm very bullish of them and I like volatility in a stock because this is what gives me higher returns, but that's just me. And make sure you always do your research before trading. Now I'm gonna go and click on the watch list and then click on Palantir. Now you will bring you up to this uh, chart right over here. So first thing, wait, actually I'm gonna go back and now I'm gonna show you my position. So right now I currently have one, two, multiple options going on uh, for Palantir, multiple different expiration day. And these are weekly. Most of the time it's going to be weekly. Uh, so currently have, uh, see, the May 21st, that's going to expire. And then the May, May 7th, May 14th, and then April 30th. So every, every, every month or so, every week actually, I go in to my option chain and I'll just buy a contract or two. To, uh, I'll show you this right now. I'm going to go to my watch list, click on Palantir, and then for this part, I'm going to choose uh, options. So once you're in this uh, right over here, you could just minimize on the top right for your uh, expiration uh, options. And then right now you'll see all the expiration dates and then how many date it is. So, so currently if you see on the right side, I have one, two, three, four different expiration dates. Uh, and then right now, I'm currently I'm going to buy uh, the May 28th one because it's around the 30 day marks. And then because I typically do it uh, weekly. So every every week there is going to be income coming in for me. And I and I, if you look back on my chart, it's over five hundred dollars or so for that uh, for this month, actually, or for for every for every other single month. And I go out and click on the 31 days. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the options, uh, what's available. And if you don't like, if you want more in terms of the strike price, you click on the bottom right 
and then you could click on like 20 if you want and then just let it load and you'll see 20 different uh, strike prices and then for me i'm just go go back 10. so what i normally do is just going to be selling one so so how i go about choosing which one to do is obviously my average price uh has to be well what i'm going to choose to buy my strike price has to be low my average cost of the stock so right now my average my average cost of the stock is around 23 dollars or so so well so i have to get something that's below 23 dollars to even make sense because if i do an option that's a little bit higher i might collect a higher premium but at the same time i i don't kind of want the stock to execute and be a sign so i collect you know more stocks in total even though i'm really bullish a little bit but i like collecting my premium so what i do is if i scroll to the right you see on the top part you see the mid implied volatility open interest volume delta and gamma all those greeks so i set up set it up like this for delta i want to see it to be negative 0.3 uh and then there's one right there that says negative 0.3 right now currently it's at the strike price of 22 dollars and 50 cents and there's another one and obviously uh, there's I'm gonna have to uh, click select the one that I want to be around like 30% uh, in the money so so that one fits the description that I want around 30% so 36.78% so it's gonna be this one currently I selected buy but what I want to do is select sell and then after that it's gonna sell and then if I want to choose one contract or two normally I just select two contracts that I'm gonna be uh, selling so I'm gonna hit edit and it'll take you it'll take me to this screen and I'll just go through everything to review it so the mid price is gonna be 0 0.95 so currently the limit price is set to be 0 0.92 so I hit three more just to meet the mid price and I'm gonna be selling two uh, two contracts so which is like 200 shares so if I, you look down a little bit, uh, there's this estimated premium or the or the credit. So it's going to be $190. So now if I were to do this every week, $190 or so, that's easily over 50 or $500 per month. And if I click on sell, it'll bring us to this uh, order confirmation page. And if you look closely at this right over here at the bottom, uh, it says you're agreeing to buy two times 100 shares of Palantir at $22.50 per share on or before May 28th, 2021. If you aren't asked to buy Palantir by then, you will keep your collateral and the full $190 credit. So if I were to just execute now or just hit confirm, it will just go through and put it put the order in, but it's not going to execute because it's in the middle of the night right now. So option trading is only available during the market hours. So this won't even execute. So I'm going to trade tomorrow or in two days, just so the expiration is within the 30 day mark that which I usually do. Again, I go in every week and only spending a couple minutes or so just looking at a couple of options and I just sell puts. It doesn't take a lot of my time and people can do this. If I feel like my option is going to be assigned and I don't want to spend $4,000 to buy it, I'll just close out my position or in this case, buy back the put. This way you can make money and not get assigned to buy the shares. Overall, I hope this gave you another perspective of making money passively. With some research and money on the side, people can build another stream of passive income if they wanted to. This would be my third stream of passive income. It's not much, but like I said before, I'm just starting out. Hope you all like this video. If so, feel free to give it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more weekly uploads. Anyway, I'll catch you all later.